Hello, my name is Josh. My name is Lisa. My name is Lucas. My name is Bella. My name is Ido. <laughs> my name is Katarina. My name is Sunny. My name is Nina. My name is David. I'm from Germany. Brazil. Norway. China. Brazil. Germany. Brazil. <laughs> from Norway. Taiwan. Since January, six months. For three months. I've been here for almost <laughs> four terms. I came in July. July? last year but i've been at rabina this term only five months five months but i went to brown's college for 20 weeks before to improve my english until july i'll be here until first of july i'm going to graduate at rabina for one year i stay for a year i'm leaving australia next week one term and a half I'm here for graduating. One term in Australia, but not in Rubina High School. Amazing. I can't, cannot really put it in words. It's just incredible time here. Great, because the teachers and friends are really, really nice and friendly. Really good. I have been with different friends from all over the world, and it's a really good opportunity. It's been the best experience of my life. I've learned so much about myself and other cultures and yeah it's just been really great i really like my international experience I like to meet people from other cultures and improve my english so it's very good the, all the teacher and student in this school are all very nice and friendly i really like the school and australia because the teachers are very like they give you a lot of support the other students are very friendly in Robina and the school is very good too oh it was the best time of my life so far I met a lot of people and I learned about a new culture and this was the best time. I really enjoyed it. I've experienced so much that I would never be able to experience in my home country and I've learned so much. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. My homestay is amazing. My homestay family are really helpful. We did so many activities together. We went to the beach. My host brother, we always play basketball with him and sing together with my host sister. Everyone is taking care of each other. It's really like a family to us. They're very nice and keen. Like uh, when I have problems, I can talk to them and about everything. And the food, food is good. Um, they're really, really lovely and caring and I really feel like home. I also have a sister in Germany, so I have two host siblings here and I also have a Chinese um, host sister, so we became really good friends. They are friendly and uh, I really feel at home with them. My homestay is very good, they give me a lot of support, they give me a lot of rides to get to my friends and they make a very good meals. They are very cool, uh, very good as a family. I not live with homestay, I live with my nature family. They're very lovely. I live with my host mom, my host dad, and two older host brothers. And we just, we've just connected very, very well, and I'm gonna miss them very much. Yeah, they've taken me, for example, camping and to Byron Bay and stuff. I really love my host family. They are so lovely, so kind. They're really friendly, and they treat me like a part of their family and like one of their daughters. And yeah, I feel really welcome and really safe. I like that they offer me the same classes as I do in Norway because I do a special direction in Norway towards arts. So it was really important for me to get all the classes I needed to get the year approved in Norway. So Rubina has really offered me that. The other students are very friendly. They give you a lot of support. When you come here, you are a little bit afraid, but they help you to stay just calm, relax, and enjoy a lot, Rubina. Probably our coordinators, because they are very nice. And we have the Friday off for Australian students to go to work or something like this, but we as international students can explore Australia and stuff like that. I love that Rubina has a lot of subjects to pick between and that the staff is really friendly and really helpful. They've helped me a lot picking my subjects, make it all uh, work with my school back home so that I'd be able to go back in Norway and continue my school there. Subject choices is really relaxed to study here. I think the international department applied the help of international students in the library. We always go there because we can ask the teacher there to support us, which is really good and um, helpful. We can 
choose our subject by ourselves because in Taiwan we normally the teacher will help us to choose so we don't have our own opinion in this. In the different subjects they offer and we have some lovely coordinators and yeah just overall everything is pretty good how I expected it to be. I really like my coordinator, international coordinators and don't have Friday in school. I study arts, aquatic practices and Chinese. I do Chinese through distance education and I just do it on my computer and then the teachers speak to I think there's about 12 people in my class and we get homework and then there's an exam uh, at the end of each term and it works really well. History, HP, art, music, which I chose. HP, history, and dance, and film. Biology, tourism. Aquatics, tourism, and I play golf in the golf academy here. Aquatics, and I'm on the sports academy futsal program, and I'm doing sports like recreation and sports. Biology, geography, aquatic practice, and recreation. Aquatic practice is uh, like a, a life word. Uh, classroom is very good. You go to the beach and have a lot of lessons, very cool. I'm doing futsal, uh, gym, tourism. Because I'm in a sports school in Norway, I do mostly sports subjects. So the school coordinators have been really helpful by mixing the grades. So I do year 11 sports and year 12 sports to have enough sports subjects. So I do PE, um, sport and rec, futsal, and I do aquatic practices. Recreation because it's like fun with all the Australian students, but also like every morning we're going to with all the other international students and Miss Mitchell a stronger together class and yeah, that's pretty cool too. I think aquatics is one of my favorite subjects as we don't have it in Germany and we learn about the beaches and we go out to a lot of different places here on the Gold Coast and we learn how to surf and stand up paddling so that's pretty cool. My favorite subject is futsal because I really love to play soccer and futsal so I have a really good times with my friends in food, so yeah, it's very good. Aquatics, because I have surfing lessons and like different things outside of school. Math, because it's easier for me. Probably be art or aquatic practices, because we get to go outside of school and not only sit in the classroom. Art, because I like sketching. Aquatic practices, because that's something I've never been able to do before and is really new. And I feel like it's an important subject because we do surf life saving, so it's something that I feel like I really have use for. <laughs> yeah, and it's really fun too, and be able to be at the beach during a school day is really cool. I really enjoyed all the trips we've been doing. I went to Morton Island and Fraser, and I went to Brisbane a couple of times, and just meeting people every day. I've been doing stuff every single weekend, and I've been traveling a lot, and seen a lot of places and yeah, Australia is a really beautiful country and there's a lot of cool stuff to do. I've been traveling to Cairns and Sydney and I've seen Sunshine Coast and Brisbane and also just all of the places at Gold Coast and the beaches and it's been really good. Go to a university here. Exploring Australia, go to the Great Barrier Reef and find new friends from all over the world, other internationals, connecting to Australian people. Improve my English and visit all the places that I can visit here. I've experienced a lot and I really love traveling, so I've been to Cairns and Sunshine Coast and I want to go to Sydney and I just really enjoyed being in the Gold Coast and enjoying the life here. To meet new places and new people. And Gold Coast is a very beautiful city, so I can enjoy a lot of beautiful beaches like Kolongara. I went there with my friends, have a surfing, it was very cool. And I really want to visit, visit other places because Australia is a very beautiful country. Go to a university. At home they have one classroom where you sit all day and the teachers come to your classroom instead of having a classroom for each subject. I guess the difference is that in Norway in high school you can choose a direction towards either arts or science and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the difference. We normally start our class at 
7.30 and very end for 9.30. I can choose the subject here, it's a very good thing uh, because in my home I can't choose so I need to do like all the subjects like maths, English, science, all so it's very good here. The classes have different times and the school is a little bit easier so it's good studying here. The class time and the subject is different. Goal starts at 8 o'clock for everyone in my school and it normally finishes around 1 but we have to do a lot of schoolwork at home. We also have a lot of subjects we don't have here like we have to practice a lot more like we have 10 subjects each and that's very stressful. Here we have the choice to choose another subject. In Brazil I have to study everything, it's like compulsory. I I don't have a choice here, it's, I have more freedom. Pretty much everything is really different and the whole school system is really different. Uh, we pick like a sort of a direction to go within a school. So I do sport and you can do art or music or drama or like cooking and stuff. And then you do all your subjects with one class. So I can't pick really anything else than just like the category sort of. And we don't have uniforms, we can wear whatever we want. And school work is also different because here it's like you have an exam or an assessment in each subject for the end of the term. And we would do like tests after every chapter. Probably it's more harder in my country. I have five days of school and more subjects. I like it more here because the focus lies more on that what you want, not that what you have to do. My agent introduced me to this school because of art, like I want to choose art as a career subject. It's a good school and a good location and for the week, so it's better for me. First of all because I'm in the golf academy and I was looking for a program that offers golf like at least two times a week and I heard that they have a lot of nice coordinators. I also had friend that was here. I saw that we have the Friday off and I thought this is a pretty good idea and of course of the sports academy. Yeah, as you see I'm on the futsal team and yeah, I like sports. I'm playing soccer since I'm two years old so I'm always a sporty person so yeah, that's why. And I saw it on the website and then I thought it would be nice to go to school. When I saw on the internet the programs, I really like it. I really like like the space here, the school. Uh, I really like the sports, the food. So When I saw in the site of the school, I think I'm pretty good school because of all of the subjects I could pick between and when I talked with the school, with the school coordinators, they seemed really nice and really friendly and yeah, they, I felt like they wanted to help me and they wanted the best for me already just from the first phone call and that they would be able to give me the subjects I needed. I chose Rubina because they offered art, which was really important for me to get here from in Norway. And there was a Norwegian here last year that recommended it to me too. Yeah, I would definitely recommend Rubina to students who like to do sports because uh, Rubina has a lot of sport you can do here from futsal over swimming to baseball and yeah, it's pretty good here. Yeah, I would because you meet Australians and internationals and you have two really good coordinators that help you with everything. So yeah, we recommend Robina. Of course, I think Robina is really good and yeah, I enjoyed this. Yes, of course, it's a really good school. Yeah, I would recommend Robina. It's a, it's a good school and really helpful and friendly staff and students. Yeah, 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 I would recommend. It's very nice and good. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. <laughs> Um, yes, I would recommend it because it's a great school and great coordinators, great teachers. A very nice feeling and I felt very involved. Yes, I'm pretty sure I recommend Rubina for the other students because it was just my uh, one term here, but I really enjoyed it because the people are very awesome here. The teachers support you a lot, so a lot of different cultures. You don't, don't have just Australians here, you have a lot of international, so it's a very awesome uh, school and they helped me a lot like to grow like a person so I'm pretty lucky to stay in this school and thank you for being mm here. -hmm.